Beneath the Surface. This is a free fishing idle game. Uh, description is a relaxing hiatus from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Sit in a remote corner of the world, drop a line, and see what bites. Beneath the Surface is a short and relaxing fishing game. Gameplay involves simply dropping a line, waiting for a bite. You can upgrade your fishing rod to be quicker and your line to go deeper. The deeper you go, the more curious and delightful catches you get. This is my first venture after working for some bigger studios. I've had practice making mods and fishing games in the past, so I thought I'd put my experience into something that could help me relax a little. I'm using my Kevin McLeod. So this is just a, a, a simple game by a developer named Carla51, and if that doesn't mean anything to you, you should be watching the Hex. <laughs> Let's start it up. All right, uh, how deep can I go immediately? Is that it? That is a tackle box. Wow, that is, yeah, that is timely, in fact. Considering that is literally, you know, the first thing that you're getting here. All right, hook type base. I only got 15, so I guess I'm getting the line length. All right, simple enough. Grab that, drop it back down, see what happens. 10 meters. Well, it effectively doubles the length, which I guess is pretty useful, but... Oh, wait, did I miss it? Let me take a look here. Ow. Also, when I was configuring the thing, it's got a very sort of a basic configuration screen. It said there was like a fire button for left, right, and middle mouse. No. Escape to cancel. Space to confirm. Nope, it really is just W and S. All right, drop it all the way back down here. I should try different, uh, different levels. Here we go. Let's try different levels of, of depth as well, rather than just going neat. I just grab it. Okay, just grab it each time. Rather than grab it, rather than just going down immediately to the bottom. So let's try like one meter. Yeah? Oh, there we go. Not even a fish. Well, yeah, you only dropped it a meter deep, which is still fairly deep. Somebody paid me 10 bucks for that. Honestly, I'm surprised. Okay, let's go two meters then. Why not? Or maybe just like 1.8 meters or something. You know, something that just does not even... Somebody gave me 10 bucks for that. I... You know what? Sure. Amateur hook. Real speed probably gonna be useful here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Go back to, like, I don't know. Yeah, 4.3. <laughs> Why not? That's a good, perfectly arbitrary... All right. Arbitrary number. This is 030 fish found. Why have I not got... I mean, I clearly found fish. Are these special fish? I have no idea. I, yeah, I'll be honest. I do like me a good idle game. Have you seen me play stuff like Forager or... I mean, even Minecraft had a lot of aspects of that, too. It's like, they are fun and simple. And I know in the past I've always said about fishing games that there's sort of a, a balance you gotta have between the rewards and, like, the action activity that you're actually doing. But if the entire game is centered around doing this sort of thing, I think that's fine. Yeah, just keep getting that line length. Clearly, if I'm going to be looking for the big fish, I'm going to need to go a lot lower. Also, fishing games are just weird, too. Some of them... I, like, games that are just classic type of fishing games. I'm talking like Sega Bro... Uh, Sega Pro Bass Fisher. What, what is that game called or something? They're actually kind of legit. You might think, oh, whatever. Fishing. Huh? Yeah, all right. Eh, whatever, fishing, but I don't know. There is something about them that is a genuinely fun experience when you go really deep into the sort of idea. A lot of games are very simple. All right. I can't imagine anybody bathing here, but sure. Let's give me more, some more line length here. I'm gonna have to go for real speed soon as well at this rate. Oh yeah, definitely. Fishing games are also, for whatever reason, a very fertile ground for, like, uh, for, I don't know, um, 
horror for some reason. I've seen a bunch of indie horror games come out that are fishing games <laughs> in the past couple of years. Uh, Mysteries Beneath Lake Ophelia. I remember it was one. Uh, there's like Earl's Day Off, Fishing Vacation. Um, oh, there, there was one where there was like an old man fishing that was just, it was very similar to this sort of thing. I don't know what it is that makes this type of game like that. All right, give me that real speed, of course. Try and get, try and, I mean, I don't know how that works, that it's just one person here reeling faster, but hey, I will accept it. <laughs> just give me as many sponges as possible. We'll just go make a an aisle at, at Walmart, and that's going to be my life from now on. All right. I'm just saying that much like, much like when... Ooh. I guess that would be the Kevin McLeod music, but I can't really hear it. Let me put my... Uh, anyway, fishing is one. Fertile ground for just weird games. Which I think is great, because I love me some weird games. And two, actually kind of a good genre. It, 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 much like Dirt Rally, where I was sort of like, eh, I don't know how, how much I'm really going to want to play a... How much I'm actually going to want to play like a, um, I don't know, good the, the, the racing game. I actually had a lot of fun with that. So, you know, there's something to be said about, about giving what would otherwise be considered like a sports game a try. I, I'm not hearing the music. Oh no, it is just a very, very quiet. All right, fine. I'm not gonna worry too much about it, really. Chill out to the Kevin McLeod tunes. Mmm, that's some good royalty-free listening, if you know what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is that's some good royalty-free listening. <laughs> oh boy. Ever pregnant guppy. Am I playing Insane Aquarium right now? Oh? Oh, I don't know that that is that is very unethical. Um Oh yeah, I don't have to click on it either. Well I did say it was an idle game. <laughs> it is it uh it does have some aspects of that, right? Anyway, uh, I also let's keep getting some more hooks. Ah, intermediate. I'm trying to get like the you know the full on thing here. Okay, expert. I'm guessing is where I'm going to start getting some of the special fish, the zero of thirty good fish. And again, not just that's not even a sea sponge. That is a kitchen sponge. A sea sponge would be, they're like, look, have you ever seen Spongebob before? They are, they are uh, uh, like his parents, not like him. <laughs> Round, you know? Sure, they got the poorest style, but they're not square. That's absurd. And again, I did ask if somebody was bathing here, so I guess, yeah. Getting an awful lot of fish for not, uh. No, too fast. I'm uh, getting an awful lot of fish for not really having any bait on here. Would have expected some sort of bait to be like a thing. Right? Come on. Yeah? No. Carpe diem. It's an extremely fast sort of day that's been happening here. I'm sure you'll agree. Come on. I'm a lot of wacky. Oh no, not more. This is already weird. I don't know if I like getting multiple of these. If you've never played Insane Aquarium, there's a character uh, that that does the very similar sort of thing in that game, and that is about getting a lot of money doing this. So, selling this for absurd amounts of selling just basic fish for absurd amounts of money. I gotta say, really, you know, people will talk about like. 
uh, Tom Nook in, in the... Ah. People talk about Tom Nook in the... There we go. In the Animal Crossing games and say like, Oh, oh, look at this guy. Like, forcing you to pay X amount of money. It's like, if I could get a house where all... Uh, how many more of these am I going to get? Uh, if I could get a house that I can just pay for with bugs and fish, I definitely would. I don't know who... All right, well, we're doing this now. I guess that's good. It, more money means more upgrades. I still haven't even found any of the special fish just yet. Sort of an important thing right now. Oh, boy. Look at this fisherman go. Come on. Give me something good. I've gotten radio, which is cool and everything. But I'm sort of looking for... I want more special stuff. You know, it, it's one thing to get upgrades. It's another thing to get cosmetics and, you know... Dumb things. <laughs> I want more dumb things. It's not like the gameplay loop is very... You know... Difficult or anything. So, you gotta sell me on the... Steambot Willy survives forever. Will never go away. That one I just sold, of course. Alright. Put that back down here. Okay, really send it down there, baby. Yeah? Oh, boy. Time to send more fish up into the sky. I guess God's paying me for this. Which, um... You know... <laughs> Why not? And you're just, just gonna keep going right for it. At least it's not a cheat code here to make it an extremely loud fart sound. Thankfully. Still though. Should I at least like keep him in the water or something? I, I feel like that would be a, a, a better option here. I'm just saying. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Well, it is money. I guess I'm not going to argue with money after all. You got to have money. Money. I... Ooh, rainbow trout. There we go. I mean, it actually looks like just a trout with three, three lines of color over it, but is that... No, that's still not one of the special fish. Wow. Okay, give me the... Ad... Yeah, there we go. Finally. Advanced. That. That is the sort of thing that I'm looking for. This is going to be catching the big bucks, or big fish, or something or other, right? Or at least more Steambot Willy heads. That's the only thing I can hope for, right? Why Steambot Willy? Why is it always Steambot Willy, of all things? And there is one more, even. Ugh, line length is probably another thing that's going to, to get me more stuff. After all, the description of the, the game page was that there's this strange fish down in the depths. As if the... the Guppies are not strange enough for me, right? No, no, no. We need to be even even weirder than this. Okay, come on. Give me something good, baby. I, I, it's good in a way. All right, that's what? 45 now? Come on. See if that makes a difference? Huh? Rainbow trout. I mean, it, th th that's expensive. Okay, 50. 50 has to be enough to give me something good, right? Surely. Uh, an Ankchovy. I get it. <laughs> it's not bugged, at least, I guess. Maybe I'll find a bugged version of that later on. Okay, okay, okay. Well, 55. Lowest I've been so far, which you know because uh, this is the most lo fishing line that I've gotten so far. And more rainbow trout, that's fine. I... yep. Thanks to my, um... Extremely unethical farming practices, I am able to get even another one. No, nah, just more of chilies though. Even another upgrade. Man, I should get, like, more real speed. I think I'm going to save up for that next. Because as you know, sometimes it's not about the quality. Sometimes it's just about doing stuff faster. Faster does mean that I'm able to do this. Well, I do want to see what this is, though. 
Maybe when I get to 66 meters, it's gonna be interesting. That's a, that's usually a thing, right? <laughs> well, no, I would have to go another 100 meters past that. But still, you know what I'm saying. I'm getting the, I am getting the real upgrade. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's if if you could buy other, you know, fish me, fish with me, like hire additional fishers. That would be one thing to do, but I think the real speed is going to to be my best bet as to try and maximize the amount of stuff that I'm doing. Yeah, come on. Can't just go fill the entire map forager style with as many furnaces as possible. Because, uh... <laughs> and, and just to make the video totally and completely unwatchable because of the loud, loud sound effects. Little five-hour streams of just me playing idle games. I told you! And yet nobody's made me play an idle game yet. Isn't that weird? You'd think that, like... Uh, 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 here we go. You'd think that uh, Project Diva just came out on Steam. That somebody would... <laughs> Is it, though? Still 0 30 fish pound. Wow. Alright. I'm, I'm going. I'm going full on. I, I am going to try 66... Just because I can. If I got a 66.6, I'm betting. That would make a lot more sense. Because it is in tenths of a meter, after all. Just I have a little less fine control now that I'm speeding up. Almost there. Oh, come on. I'm tapping it for as little time as I can. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just a rainbow trout. Oh, that's lame. I already got, I got plenty of those. Fine. Send it all the way down to... D does that happen as... Yeah, it does even happen as I am... As I am fishing here. Oh! What? Man, what are the special fish that I am looking for here? Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. 75 feels like a good... Yeah, there we go. Just a full-on walrus. That's what I'm looking for, baby. I think. That is not what I'm looking for. It's still not one of the... It's still zero out of 30 fish. I need more than that. Okay. Come on. I'm feeling... I'm feeling like there's something big. There's something big that I'm going to be getting very soon. And I could keep... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go even more than advanced. Maybe that'll get me more gold... Uh, gold guppies or something like that. Which I would be entirely okay with. Because that's the sort of thing that... I mean, you know. Hey! Must have drifted a long way. Well, at least I'm not getting in a fight with it this time. <laughs> Although I could have gotten the... I could have gotten the, the the reference move to... Still not enough. Uh, I could have gotten the reference move to... Um, to, to, to both uh, Master of Disguise and... And Space Jam. I never actually used the Space Jam move. That would have been a... Would have been a good time. Would it have... It would just be the same thing. It would just be Chandral trying to cut her hand or something. Real speed. No, I'm saving up. I'm saving up. I'm, I'm pretty much there. Yeah, there. Oh, Pro maxed out. Nice. That means that I'm definitely going to be getting the, the 30 fish, right? At least some of the 30 fish. As soon as I max out a lot of these, I'm betting. I'm betting that's what's going to be happening. Yeah? No, it's just another walrus. Well. I, line length seems like the next one I want to go for. Because... I don't know if I... I don't know if I'm, I'm as concerned about trying to get... Ah uh, no, I should really go for speed again. Speed is gonna make speed is gonna make things go faster, and that's probably going to be more important than increasing the the line length right now, right? Then again, I still have zero thirty. Well, I'm betting that it's gonna be eighty. Yeah, I'm at eighty-five. Probably gonna be one hundred that it maxes out. 
Yeah. Ah, more money. More money. You know what I like? I like having money. That's what, that's what I'm all about. Look into your heart. You know, you know. You know that's... Yeah. That's the most important thing here. Because after all, you only get so many resources. Everything else is, just goes into raw cash, baby. And the rawest of cash, no less. Oh yeah, this is going significantly faster now. Good. Alright, alright, alright. I actually think at this point since I'm getting kind of just the same thing over and over. I'll come back when I get all the upgrades or when I get something interesting. Hey, rubber ducky. That is at 95. Uh, I guess I'm starting to get some of the weird stuff here. Was it weird enough though? No, it even goes past 100. Okay. Hey, deep sea jelly. Hey, cassette. I am getting sick of the old one. Also, what does that say on there? I cannot tell. <laughs> yeah, crank me in some new tunes. Also, I gotta, I gotta get more real speed already. At this depth, it's starting to go a little bit slower. Barely, but still starting. A strange device. Hmm. Oh, I'm building something. Hey, device part. There we go. Part two of this. Whatever it might be. Not that I can do it to click on it, but uh, now at, uh, you know, 120 meters and 10 meters a second, I'm really schmoving in terms of trying to, to fish now. Is it enough? Oh, it's never enough. Not until I max out everything. Of course. Hey, it's Wizaro's hat. And, yep, perfect, perfect, perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Not actually getting me any money, though, unfortunately. Still, though, cosmetics! I'm telling you. It's an important thing. Vampyrotuthis. Vampire toothless. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder now if the fish found uh, counter is just bugged out or something. Because I feel like I should... I, you, you would think it would be catching any fish that would count for that, right? Oh? Hatchery! Oh, okay. So, device is a hatchery. Does that mean that I'm getting even more fish? Or... I don't know, it doesn't seem to be doing anything just yet. Maybe that means that I'll have more money in the future. Oh, there we go. Oh, hatching that, that kind of hatching. Got it. Ooh, and that occasionally gives you the, the golden fish too. Which I don't know how much more money that that nets me, but I guess that's good. Ooh, more a eel. That's a more. Also, quite a big eel. Oh yeah, not not even bad in terms of money too. Also, I hope I get another cassette soon because I I can I can get some fresh fresh tunage. <laughs> Ooh, lanternfish starting to get the. Uh, the really deep stuff at 180. I'm betting 200 is going to be interesting as well. As of right now, I'm starting to wonder maybe if I need to go fish up a tank or something to start to keep some of the fish rather than immediately selling them. Because come on, I I'm still surprised that I'm at 0 of 30. 200. Will I get anything? I mean, what I'm probably going to get is more real upgrades, but... Eh? 
Come on. I'm expecting big money. Yep. That is, um... Nick, yeah. <laughs> and, wait. Huh? Okay, yeah, things are starting to get strange down there. It's good money, though. <laughs> Ooh, maxed out real speed. You see that Wizaro's hat? Starting to make it somewhere in the world. Fortunately, that means that this is not going to be going any faster now. <laughs> Ooh, Arctic Turn. Yeah, that is, uh, that is 230 meters deep. How? How even? Well, money. <laughs> now it's going to be 235 meters deep. Oh. Yeah. With the game work symbol on it, eh? Well. <laughs> Wow, when, re when you reload up the game, it all just throws it right back down, eh? Neat! Should maybe go look to see where the actual save file is at, but I put some stuff into the game files to see if anything different might happen. I don't know. Just thinking about it. Oh, ah? yeah, the sun! I guess I was wondering where that went, right? <laughs> Considering that it's kind of been absent for a while. How did I get down there? Wait, did I just sell that to somebody? No oh boy. Oh? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah? I guess that is maxed out. Considering, um... Yeah? <laughs> Alright then, neat. Wait, let me see if I can actually catch something at that at that depth then. Ah. And the game closed. Ah. And yes, by putting the cipher that cipher file in the in what I just put it in every single folder, I have no idea. There we are. <laughs> Prototype build, eh? What does that mean? This is Lionel Snow. I'm recording this because I've... <sighs> this is crazy, right? Speaking to a video game character? Come on. <sighs> well, here it goes anyways. I've seen some things lately that made me think. What if the characters that I've created live somehow? Like, in some way, they know who I am. It's probably nonsense. Just some trolls on the GameWorks forums getting the better of me. But in the case that the stories they tell are true, and the really unlikely case... I think I would owe one of my characters an apology. No one else knows this, but Super Weasel Kid was not my first game. I actually made this really janky root beer game when I was even younger. The only thing I liked about it was the main character, Root Beer Reggie. I made him look like a younger version of my grandpa. Then after my grandpa passed, I still had Reggie. I don't know what I was thinking, but when Super Weasel Kid was almost done, I figured that I'd ought to delete the old root beer game. I guess I thought it looked better if my very first game was something great. Like I was some kind of prodigy. Irving handled deleting the files. I couldn't bear doing it myself. He told me that Reggie would be exported to a different game, but 
I never saw him again. Well, if you're out there somewhere, Reggie, I still miss you. And I'm sorry. <laughs>